that millions of voters woke up at dawn in Mount Kenya and other parts of the country, lined up for hours and trusted me with their future by voting for me. I urge you not to give up on that dream of a regime governed by empathy for citizens, honesty and accountability as opposed to the lies Kenya Kwanzaa sold and continued to sell. The Jubilee Party carries a special significance to us in Azimio precisely because of a tax it has endured and the efforts of the state to kill or co-opt co it forcibly into Kenya Kwanzaa. Should Le Jubilee be subdued, multi-party democracy will be under serious threat in our country. Accountability will be severely compromised. Uncouth manners and barbaric politics will be cemented in huge sections of our land where leaders with such credentials want to hold sway. The end game is for Kenya Kwanzaa in its scheme against Jubilee is to give itself a supermajority in Parliament that will enable it to amend the Constitution towards its desired goals, including possible removal of presidential term limits. In this, the regime is working on a well-trodden path. Kenya Kwanzaa is working on an arrangement similar to that of 1964 that saw Kadu walk across the aisle and join Kanu without its members of parliament having to seek fresh bandit. Kenya Kwanzaa wants to ensure Jubilee as a party does not continue to exist on this side of the aisle. They want Jubilee dead in the same way Kadu did after which Kenya Kwanzaa will try to enact the train of events that saw Kenya become a de facto one-party state from 1969 before being made a de jure one-party state one afternoon in 1982. Kenyans need to appreciate that the desire to kill alternative forms of political organization is the initial step on the path to a full-blown dictatorship. Next will be a freeze in the people's participation and representation in political affairs of the nation. Next, the rate of participation in critical national activities like voting will diminish. By 1983, as we enter the peak of years of a single party dictatorship in Kenya, voter turnout stood at a mere 30%. It is therefore upon us, the parties and those who have this hindsight of history to ensure that what happened once does not happen twice. While those in government may think they will be insulated should the regime succeed in destroying multi-party systems, history tells us that as soon as the regime in power succeeds in killing opposition, it will turn inwards and kill debate and dissent within its own ranks. The governing party will become a tool of, of the office of the president to manage opposition from within and without. When that happens, only one voice will matter, that of the president. Even those politicians who now think they will power in the government party will not, will not know where they, uh, they, they lost the plot. The people trying to kill or take over Jubilee and hand it over to Kenya Kwanzaa may not be fully aware of the complex schemes being plotted by their sponsors. They are mere pawns in a game that will eventually consume them. Kenyans will recall that one afternoon in 1982, a few excited members of parliament set and approved the making of Kenya a one-party state. Those excited men and women who voted aye 
that afternoon in 1982 thought they were punishing other people. A number of them became the very first victims of the snares they thought they were laying for others. Which is why Jubilee's war the word of Kenya Kwanzaa must be the war of every Kenyan who treasure freedom, the rule of law, and respect for human rights, including the right to associate and to hold and express views freely. I must commend Jubilee Party for remaining strong, focused in the face of sustained state-sponsored onslaught. I am happy that the party recognizes its responsibility to Kenyans to defend and sustain our hard-won multi-party system. More importantly, I commend the Jubilee Party for continuing to fight for lowering of cost of living, electoral justice, inclusivity in appointment in public office, and abolition of excessive taxation of Kenyans. I want to assure you that we will fight this battle together and we will win it together. Failure is not an option. <laughs> Failure is not an option. As we push for respect for political parties, I want to make a heartfelt call on our country to respect leaders who have served our nation and handed over the baton to others. In the recent months, we have seen very uncouth, very primitive, and unwarranted attacks on the person and property of His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta and his family, including the founding president, Mr. Jomo Kenyatta. Shame on them. <laughs> Nothing could be more uncouth than what we have witnessed in this regard, especially when it comes from men and women who call themselves leaders who expect to be respected once they retire, unless they plan to die in office. <laughs> I must commend my brother and our fourth president, Uhuru Kenyatta, for the dignity and decorum with which he has borne the insults and abuses for the sake of the stability of the nation, the peaceful coexistence of Kenyans, and the dignity of Kenya's presidency. I personally thank Uhuru for choosing to fly high when they have hit an extreme low. I call for respect of retired leaders, not because Uhuru is with us in Azimio. I say it because it is what I believe in, it is what civilized people should do and believe. It is what happened in civilized nations. Kenyans will recall that when NAC took power in 2002 and excited cabinet ministers bade for the blood of the then retired President Daniel Arab Moy, I said no. I said no to the intended frustration of a man who had held various leadership positions right from before independence ending up as our president for 24 years. As I said, when, when we launched Azimio in Nakuru on 16th of August 2021, we must cleanse this land of the spirit of anger and bitterness, revenge and entitlement that the presidency continues to ooze. We must also build electoral systems that are resilient, transparent, accountable and respect the wishes of the voters as expressed at the ballot. We believe that when leaders and governments lack popular support, as is presently the case, accountability, empathy, democracy, and good governance cannot be expected, and the nation cannot move forward. This is the tragedy that afflicts this country today. It is the reason enough for, for that, that well-known primitive voice, for that well-known primitive voice in Kenya Kwanzaa to stop losing sleep over an imaginary handshake. 
Kenya Kwanza is too shady to be embraced. <laughs> that is why we have agreed to give dialogue a chance. We embrace the talks to secure a good deal for Kenyans. And if the deal will not be forthcoming, Kenyans can be sure we will not pursue vain dialogue. Those who want to take over Jubilee are the same ones who, who live in the mortal fear over their positions and political future. They are the ones living in the nightmare of a handshake nobody is interested in. They want to destroy Jubilee because, not because uh, it, it is weak, but because they recognize Jubilee is a force now and could be an even bigger force and a threat in the years ahead. I urge you to stay focused in creating an atmosphere that will allow the country to take a critical look at traditions and institutions with a view to creating an atmosphere for constitutionalism to take off and thrive. I therefore encourage you to implement the resolutions of this convention with the confidence that the full force of Azimio La Umoja is covering your back. God bless Jubilee Party. God bless Azimio. God bless Kenya. Aya. Aya. Sasa ntasema kwa muktasari Swala nyeti ya metuko na hapa Kwanza ni mambo ya garama ya maisha Ama imepanda sana Pili Be ya unga imepanda Be ya mafuta imepanda Be ya sukari imepanda Ata karu ya shule imepanda Na kodi ya nyumba Sasa jia hiyo wanataka kuongeza ushuru Juzi niliwambia kumba punda imechoka Punda imechoka Niliwambia ya kumba wa Kenya hawezi tena kumudu ushuru zaidi Ili ambaya wanetozo wakati huu nataka ya punguzwe Manake wa swahili walisema atikibibashu kikibuja na fuu kwa mchukuzi. Kwa hivyo, mambo garama ya maisha tutazidi kupigana juyaki. Pili ni mambo ya uchaguzi. Mambo ya saba. Tulisema mpaka saba ifunguliwe. Juzi ni puambia wana sema oh saba ilifunguliwa Nika wali ilifunguliwa wapu Wana sema mambo ya chaguzi ilifisha Sisi kama wazimio si watu mbawa na lanamika kwa hovyo Muliona hapa bombers of Kenya Kulikuwa na commissioner saba Chebusheta na mingini Na wawili Wengine wanne Wanne walisema la Yale matokeo ya banachibu kati ya yaki kwa kweli Walisema na mna hiyo Paka wakatoka pale wakaenda kule Kule sarena hotel wakatoa tarifa tufauti na yale ya banachibu chetha Kwa hivyo na badaye Jamaa kapiga firimbi Na katoa matokeo ya uchaguzi wa halali Kwa hivyo tunataka tuangalie hiyo saba ili tujua ni kitu gani hiko ndani yake. O kweli, hiyo ni sharti mpake fanyike. Mpake fanyike. Tatu tumesema atutaki kuona kama watu wana ingilia mwambia ndani ya vema biazimio. Kupani moja wanasema wanataka kimarisha multiparty democracy. Badilisha weko ofisi ya kiongozi ya pinzani katika bungi. Kupande hii, unawua bijubili. Unangia ODM. Kwa hivu nangia nani ya wiper. 
tumesema hii hatutakubali wale ambao wameingia kwa biashara ya umalaya ya siasa kama wameingia biashara ya umalaya ya siasa jiuzulu ile tiketi ambayo ulipewa rudi kwa wananchi uchaguliwe upya mimi nilipotoka katika chama changu cha Ford Kenya kiangia NDP nilijiuzulu kwa bunge nikarudi kuapo kwa watu wa Langata wakanichagulia tena kama 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 mbunge wa Langata wengi walitoka namna hiyo marehemu dr uh, uh, dr nani uh, protas nani huko kizi likoa mumai umanji chamala apili wawire aniri na kadhalika wengi walijirudi katika uchaguzi kwa hivyo tunasema badala ya kuchukua bijubli uende naye katika Kenya kwanza toka kwenda peke yako nasimama na chama ya Kenya kwanza au uda na tuonane na wewe kwa kiwanja mingi misho wamesema Kenya ni kampuni ambaye kuna hisa ati wengine wakuna hisa mingi zaidi wengine wana kidogo wengine hawana swali ni kwamba kama kuna wa Kenya ambaye hawana hisa wanafanya nini Kenya wanafanya nini Kenya kama hatuna hisa unatutoza ushuru ya sababu gani wanasema tulipe tatu ya pesa yetu na nyumba waweze kujengea sisi tumesema ikiwa kama nyinyi mnasema mambo ya hisa na tunataka bwana Ruto atuambie mimi kama ye anaunga mkono mambo ya bwana Gachagua bwana Gachagua ndio naibu wake ukisema ya kwamba Kenya ni kampuni basi zitakutaki tunaenda kwa moja ya mataifa tuseme tunataka self determination we cannot be treated as second, second, uh, second class citizens that only those who voted for Kenya kwanza are entitled to employment and entitled to services by this government if that is the case then the rest of Kenyans will ask for self determination tumesema hao watu wamedhulumu Kenya zaidi kila siku wako kwenye runinga wanapiga kila wanabweka wanabweka kwa Kenya sisi kama wa Kenya hatuwezi kutishwa hatuwezi kutishwa kwa hivyo kama nyinyi mnataka mazungumzo tusema mwezi moja sasa mebaki siku kumi na nne siku kumi na nne mebaki kama yule kamati ya otiende na yule mwenzake haijawezi kupata suluhu hizo kwa mambo matatu mambo ya mambo ya gharama ya maisha pili mambo ya uh, saba na tatu ni mambo ya vyama viwe huru tutarudi uwanjani tutarudi uwanjani na uwanjani sisi hatuwezi kutishwa tutasimama imara mko tayari Mko tayari? Angapi wako tayari nione mkono hapa. Sa, hawa walisema wao ni watu wa hasla. Sasa lugha ya hasla sasa imepotea. Hawataji mambo ya hasla tena hata kidogo. Wanaongea juu ya wadosi peke yake. Na wale wadosi ambao wanaongea juu yao ni wale wale ambao wanaiba hazili mali yetu maana kasha kila siku mambo hii ya ati neti ya ni ya, ya umbu pale ni nani yuko pale si mnajulikana mnajulikana bwana richieta na watoto wako ah watu wanajulikana mambo ya sukari mambo ya sukari 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 sasa sisi tumesema 
mambo ya ufisadi mpaka yangaliwe na watu ambao wanahusika lakini wezi ya wezi kwenda kushika wezi vingine mambo ya shakahola 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 tulisema tuliona bwana makenzi katika ikulu walikuwa na umma papa moja shakahola ni ni, 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 ni state house annex wale waweze kufanya uchaguzi ya shakahola ndio niwaambia bwana Ruto wewe koma kabisa huna uwezo wa kuunda tume ya kufanya uchunguzi wewe ni mshukiwa na bwana gachoka gana gachagwa ni mshukiwa na mtu hao wote waweze kufanya uchunguzi mimi nilienda shakahola nikazuiliwa kuingia pale kwa sababu gani Mwanaiko anajua mimi nitaona ukweli huko. Sivyo? Kwa hiyo sisi tunasema wa Kenya sasa wamechoka mizi nane peke yake imetosha. Punda imechoka. Punda imechoka. Tunataka mabadiliko. Si mnataka mabadiliko? Ngapi okay, mnataka mabadiliko nione mkono hapa. Jubilee. Jubilee.